Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Hey everybody, welcome to Bible Class Today. Mr. Dustin here, and I am so very glad that you're here with me. Now today, we're actually going to talk about what happens a little bit after Jesus was born in a manger. Now, there are some special people. We usually say that there are three, but we really don't know. They come and they give gifts to Jesus. Do you know who they are? Hmm. Well, if you have your beginner Bible today... You can read along with me, and we can find out. Now, this is called The Bright Star and Three Visitors. Let's see what it says. When Jesus was born, God put a special star in the sky. Some wise men who lived far away saw this star. They knew it was a sign from God that a new king had been born. You see the star? It's a special star. The wise men followed the star on their way. They stopped in the city of Jerusalem to see King Herod. The wise men wanted to ask him about the new baby king. See them traveling? They went to go see King Herod. Now, Herod was a mean king. He tried to trick the wise men. Look at what he said. He said, you must find him for me so I can worship him too, he said. See, Herod, but he's a mean king. Why did he say he wants to worship him? The star led the wise men to Bethlehem. There they found little Jesus. They worshipped him and gave him gifts fit for a king, gold and sweet-smelling spices. You see, they're giving gifts to Jesus, but look at him. Is he a baby or is he standing up, maybe walking? Hmm, maybe he's not a baby anymore, but he's still little. An angel appeared to the wise men in a dream. He warned them, do not go back to King Herod. So the wise men, they went home a different way. See the angel? He warned them, don't go back to Herod. Because remember, Herod was a mean king. Now, what happened in our story today? We talked about three visitors. Well, we really don't know if there's three. We just know they had three gifts and that they were magi. Or they, were, they were wealthy people. They were wise men. And they came from the east. That's all we really know about them. And they saw something in the sky. Do you remember what it was? It was special. That's right. It was a, it was a star in the sky. And they saw it, and it was over the city of Bethlehem. And they said, the city of Bethlehem, let's go there. Because we know that it means a sign from God that a king has been born. So who did they go see? They saw the mean King Herod, and he was going to trick them. Now, next time, we'll see what he does. But they found Jesus, and they gave him gifts. Because Jesus is the king of of kings, the Lord of all. Even when he was little, he was still just a toddler, maybe two years old. So today I don't have a craft for you, but I do have some homework for you. What I want you to do is go outside when it gets dark and see if you can see the stars. You, of course, you need to go with your parents. Be sure they go with you. But look at the stars. And just think about if you were a wise man and you saw a special star that announced the best news ever, the birth of the King of Kings, the Savior of the world. What would you do? Would you just go, look, that star shows me where the king is and I'm not going to go? Of course not. You would go. You would go see the King of Kings, the Savior of the world. And that's exactly what those wise men did. 
They brought him gifts. So what I want for us to do is to bring gifts to Jesus, but not the kind that we can hand to him, but the gift of our love so that we love Jesus and follow him because that's the best gift that we can give. So I want to sing our same song one more time. I know it's just about when he was born, but this is about whenever he was little. So I think it's a good song for us to sing. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. So why don't we pray together and thank God that Jesus came to this world and he saved us from our sins. And then we'll be done with Bible class. God, we are so very thankful for Jesus. The fact that he came to this world, that he came just as you and me that are listening here did. We were born. Born as a baby and we grew up and Jesus did the same thing. He grew up and he became a man. And I thank you very much for sending him to save us. I pray that each of these people here will come to love, know, and follow Jesus. Thank you so much for everybody that's listening, and it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. Thank you for coming to Bible class today. I hope that I will see you again on Wednesday. We're going to hear a little bit more about King Herod and how he was tricky and an angry king. I hope I'll see you then. Have a good week.